My dad used to be a basketball player for the national team, but he had to quit after a serious sports injury and a permanent limp. But he didn't give up his passion and became a basketball coach. He was my inspiration to always work hard. Always remember, Kayla, the harder you work, the higher you go. I was a very tall kid from the start, and while everyone around me thought I was a little weird, I loved and embraced my height. Hey, how's the weather up there? The weather is great. The view, not so much. When I turned 10, I got into basketball just like him, and I loved it. I worked really hard, and by the time I was 16, I was the best player in town, and also won a sports scholarship to a great school, which was in Dad's old hometown. On my first day in my new high school, everyone stared at me, but this one girl, Heidi, was the weirdest. She was the mayor's kid and a total brat, and even worse, she was on the girls' basketball team, too. During the first day of practice, the coach introduced me to the team. Kayla's one of the best players in town, and we're lucky to have her on the team. As if. I can take that giant down in one shot. Excuse me? Did you say anything? I was just saying that being tall doesn't make you the best player. I have the skills to beat you. Really? I'd love to see you try. Heidi and I had a one-on-one -on -one match, and I totally owned her. The coach was super impressed and asked me to take over as the team captain. I was over the moon. Wow, that was impressive. I looked behind to see a cute guy towering over me. For the first time ever, I'd seen a boy taller than me. Well, uh, thank you. I don't think I've ever seen Heidi get this angry. You did a fab job. I'm Jay, by the way. Jay was in my class and the captain of the boys' basketball team, not to mention the hottest guy around. After that day, Jay and I started hanging out a lot and even trained together in school. By the time we were in our senior year, Jay was my best friend and we were always together. Things were great, and when I broke the record for highest baskets in a season, Jay was the first one to cheer for me. Wow, look at you. You had a great season. <laughs> well, thank you. It wouldn't have been so good if it wasn't for your grueling training. Well, you're welcome. It's been a pleasure to work with you. As we were talking, I opened my locker and was bombarded with glitter shots. My clothes, face, books, and even Jay's clothes were covered in pink sparkles. Wow, looks like you have a secret admirer. More like a hater. We both know who this is. Oh my god, just when I thought you couldn't look any worse, you show up in a full face of glitter. Is that a new makeup trend? For losers? I wouldn't know since I just had the perfect season. How was yours? Scored any baskets? Ugh, cheeky are we. But hey, look, you've ruined Jay's clothes too. Just like you're ruining his reputation by hanging out with him. Why don't we ask him? Don't look at me. I just want to get changed. I am terribly late for class. As Jay left, Heidi stared at me with death in her eyes.